Breaking news. Nigerian soldier arrested for selling, stealing ammunition to terrorists. <laughs> oh my God. So now they see the, the reason why the fight of uh, Boko Haram and the banditry in Nigeria are not going fit take anywhere. Where one from starts now? Who do we now run to? These are one of the people who are fighting this bad gang. Even most of their guards, their hand, they decide. They inside this matter. You won't even talk about the government self when see they fight the the fight. And I see the same day when tell us say they 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 get the names of people when we say then they sponsor uh, Boko Haram and banditry in Nigeria. But they cannot just they cannot just shame them. They cannot just review their identity. Their reason is best known to them. So how do we now end this issue? Of insecurity in Nigeria. When I see where the wall are this, the problem is it gets so many branches. It gets so many branches, and this is a big problem. Anyway, guys, let's hit the news and get the full details. But before then, if you are, if you are here for the first time, kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Nigerian soldier arrested for stealing. Selling ammunition to terrorists. The video shows as the ammunition was removed from a piece of clothing trapped around his waist. Nigerian soldier Lloyd Lam Emmanuel has been arrested for stealing and selling ammunition to Boko Haram terrorists. In a viral video, Emmanuel said to have been attached to the 156th Tax Force Battalion, codenamed, codenamed Operation Hadikia in Minok Borunu State, was disarmed, searched, and found to be carrying ammunition. The video shows as the ammunition was removed from a piece of clothing trapped around his waist. His colleagues could be heard saying, God pass you 99 days for the fifth. So you will go and give them, you know, this to come and attack us, Abby. And these have generated so many reactions by Nigerians. Let's hear them out. This is so sad that one of those soldiers that leak operation information to these Boko boys, there are many of this kind in Nigeria. I mean, Navy, police, and the Nigeria APC-led government says they are fighting corruption. This is an eye-opener to everyone. Reject APC and save lives. No wonder Boko Boris keep am ambushing innocent soldiers. The Boko Boris members are everywhere, even in Aso, Aso Rock. This is just a revelation of what has been going on in the system he is only a scapegoat. I can see. I can remember General Azazi says that all government areas, these Boko boys, even in the Aso Villa that led to his death. So I am not surprised. These are reactions by Nigerians and they keep on talking. Planization agenda, Biafra is only our hope. When they recruited terrorists into the army, what do they expect? I think more than this is going on. Divide Nigeria and save lives. It has been long. La Mohammed come on, come on, come on TV to protest this, to protect his government. This, this thing not clear at all. This country now, wow. So they can't keep him away from the public till they finish investigation. This is the result of any nation that the system got rotten. It is unfortunate that the big fishes were in the glass house doing sharing while the smaller ones were busy selling the arms, the man on the world, and guess what? The vulnerable Nigerians 
suffer it. Hmm. Emmanuel is supposed to be a TV name. He is bringing bad, bad name to people who have suffered Fulani Hesman attacks. After they will say, it's eye pop. With this long face, one can possibly tell where he's coming from. Oh yeah, Mikunagada. <laughs> Possibly he could not, he could be one of those unrepentant terrorists that were recruited into the Nigerian security forces. One mistake too many. Those are the repentant Boko boys who speak with their brother in the bush. That has become a striving business over there. They may still be more. Now himself hurts now. Country hard. When the Nigerian government picked bad people called the repentant bukus, what do you expect? This one cop don't fool. There are plenty of them in security agencies, including top ranking official among them. The main reason they don't they don't want insecurity to go. This is a normal thing. No be new gist. Then no go pay them well. Person with family, them go, they pay them 60000 for this hard period. I even think some collect lesser. We still they fight. Make better for all of us, he said. Okay, guys, these are some reactions by Nigerians. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you for stopping by. Bye for now.